Hi guys, my name is Nick and I'm a certified expert administrator for Microsoft 365. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to deploy ConnectWise Automate, formerly known as LabTech, through Intune. So I'm signed in here and I'm in the Device Management Admin Center. I got there by signing into office.com to the admin portal here and coming down to Device Management under Admin Centers. If you don't have that tab, you can simply go to portal.azure.com and search for Intune and this will take you to the same exact place I just like the management console a little bit more so Intune does allow us to deploy applications out to enrolled devices that we have uh, within Intune so uh, what we're going to be doing here is creating the package and assigning it to a group so that we can deploy it through Intune ideally when you onboard a new uh, client you would already have them enroll in Intune and these applications can push down to them so you don't have to manually push out your RMM. So within this portal we're going to go to client apps and under client apps we're going to click on apps here and we're going to click on add. Under the app type we are going to select line of business app and under the app package file you're going to have your agent, uh, the LabTech agent MSI stored somewhere locally and you can go ahead and grab it here and click on it there to open this will load up here you can click on OK and under the app information you can change this if you want I'm just going to call it automate for the description and publisher I'm going to say connect wise um, we're not going to worry about the app version right now for this demo the next thing we'll do um, we're going to say no to this because we want it to be a silent install um, not something that they can grab from the company portal. It's really going to be something that you wanted to push out manually to them. You can grab a logo from the internet. Um, you can search for automate and it will be listed there. I'm going to upload that here and click on OK. I'm going to click on OK again and click add. So this will take a minute to load up um, but you'll notice it says app created and then it says your app's not ready yet. Um, but that's okay you'll get the prompt up here in the corner for this one it's not a very big package so it doesn't take very long to finish you'll get that green check mark here I can simply refresh and now I have my uh, software here and what I want to do is assign it to at least one group like it's saying here under the assignments tab in a lot of cases, since this is your RMM, you can simply assign it to all users and you'll have that option, which I'll show you here in a second, which is what you're probably going to do. Uh, but if you did want to scope this out to certain subsets of users or devices, you could go into the group section and define the group with its members uh, that you want this to apply to. Since it is an RMM, though, that might uh, not apply in this case, but that might apply to other applications that you do push out across the company. So under assignments here we're going to click on add group and under the assignment type you see three available options here. One is for available for enrolled devices. This is again if you wanted to publish it in the company portal app for them to be able to install themselves. But in this particular case again it's an RMM so we really want to do just required install. This will silently install the agent on their computer and it will register within Automate. The next thing we'll do here is, here again, you can select all users and devices. And um, again, that's most likely that's what you're going to do for the case of your RMM. I did scope it just so you could see both applications. And I'm going to search for my group that I want to apply this to here. Click on OK. Click on OK again and save. Now part of this group is a user and a device um, of which I've got mocked up here in a VM. This is M365Biz. So it does take a few minutes before things will start to register here and you'll start to see um, a couple different pieces. So under the device install status here, you'll see it says no devices right now, but in a few minutes or so, it'll show the device uh, to who we're applying it to, which is part of that group that I assigned. And the same thing with the user. Uh, the user that enrolled that device initially, or if you used uh, Autopilot with Intune and they signed in with their credentials, you'll see that user listed here as well. The other place to see this is actually under the device section itself. So I had to sign this to a device um, called M365Biz2. And if I'm in here, I can go to the Manage Apps section 
and I can see lab tech software remote agent it says required install it says it's waiting for install status so based off my experience on this it does take roughly five to ten minutes before you're going to see any of these statuses change uh, so just be patient with it here the biggest thing you can do uh, while you're waiting it for it to refresh here in the Intune portal um, is you can look into the task manager here and on the task manager on the computer um, in the background processes here you will start to see uh, this lab tech service come up so it is being installed in the background and you'll know that it's uh, it's running so just be patient with it there it'll silently install there's not going to be any user prompts or anything like that and then we'll slowly start to see the uh, statuses change here within the portal itself between the devices section and then also under this section two for device install status or user install status. So while we wait here, I'm just gonna pause the video real quick and I'll come back as soon as these statuses have been updated. So we're back here and it's been about 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna check back in if I go into the client app section again, apps one more time and select lab tech don't show anything here yet, uh, but if I go under device install status, I do see it shows that it's successfully installed for this particular device. And if I go into the device itself and click on it here, I will go under managed apps and I show that it is successfully installed here as well. And these are some of the installation details slash check in time. So I have it there and I've configured it. It's running here on this device itself. So that's everything I wanted to show. You guys can use this to deploy with autopilot profiles so that your complete stack is pushed out to your devices as soon as the user enrolls. And that can go from box to production. And this can also apply to BYOD devices or existing devices that are then joined to Intune. That's everything I got to show for you guys. If you have any questions or comments or any feedback, please comment below. And if you'd like to see some more content around the MSP space, please visit my website here for guidance on implementing Intune, uh, understanding Microsoft competencies and things like that.